Firstly, you don't need planning permission for a temporary car park. You can park on the grass and you can put 804 and dust on it. As long as it's a temporary car park, you don't need planning permission. No agricultural show gets planning permission, and there's lots of them uh, around the, the country. The, 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 the point, we're not talking about two different things. There's a, you're, they're not, sorry. If you're going to sit there and kind of say, there's nothing we can do here. The planning process has to take its four-year course. There's nothing we can do. That is not what we elect our uh, governments to do. I would argue the other way around in favour of. There are solutions. Yes, some may be politically inconvenient. Yes, some may run some court risk of a court challenge. But I would rather have our government going, lift the cap for the next three or four years and we'll take our chances with a court challenge than sitting there for four years exporting these routes and these jobs and this traffic to other European airports who are laughing at us saying, there's nothing we can do here because that's the planning process. Governments have two choices. They can sit there and do nothing, or they can take action. And I believe that governments who take action will be rewarded at the polls. Um, we can lift the cap. You don't need planning permission for a temporary car park. We only need those additional cars. The car park, the DA have said the car parks are full for weekends in July and August. They own 300 acres of land there. It is uh, reasonably straightforward, Again, and you Chairman, could park I, in those fields. I just fields. point out, uh, Mr.